Hey everyone, I want to talk about how to turn on the transverse abdominis muscle. Now, the transverse abdominis is a very large muscle. It's very deep in the abdominals and it helps to build abdominal pressure and it helps to stabilize your spine so when your transverse abdominis muscle contracts, the muscles on the back to help to stabilize your back also contract at the same time. Okay, and that helps to build some stability to your spine. Anytime you've had a history of back pain, chronic back pain, even one time you've had back pain, and uh, maybe even had surgery, those muscles turn off, and they don't turn on very well, and you need to be able to turn those on first before you do activities with your arms. So if somebody throws you a ball and you go to catch it, these muscles need to turn on first, these turn on second, because you need to be stable here. But when you've had a history of back pain, those don't turn on at the right time. So this is a very difficult muscle to activate, and I'm going to give you some key pointers here on how to do it, okay? And it's a very safe exercise to do, especially after surgery or after you've had some back pain, okay? So you basically get on your back, and you keep your knees bent. You take your index finger and your middle finger, and you put it on this bump on the front of your pelvis. You then get from that point in about an inch and a half to two inches and you push deep into your lower abdominal muscles. And so basically trying to get those fingers down like this so that when you contract the muscle, you feel it touch the fingers and then relax. Now, when you try to contract this muscle, you want to imagine that you're getting punched in the gut and you're trying to stiffen everything up. And the other way to do this is imagine you're, you're urinating and you're trying to draw in down here and trying to keep that stable. Now what you don't want to do is push your low back into the table really hard so it curls like that. You want to make sure that your spine stays in a nice centered position or neutral position. So we're going to go find our spot again. Put the fingers deep inside. Slowly draw in. You're not pulling everything up here. You're just tightening down here. And you're going to feel that muscle tighten and touch the fingers. I usually like to count to three to five seconds and then relax. And then I re-tighten. I feel the muscle under my finger. I'm still able to breathe. I'm still able to talk while I do this, while I'm contracting that muscle. Now let's say you get to turn that muscle on and turn it off really well, which is very important. It's not how hard you can contract it. It's about how well you turn it on. So then you can start adding to it by tightening the muscle and lifting one leg to a 90, 90 degree position, holding that for five seconds, letting it down, relaxing the muscle, keep the fingers down there though, re-tighten the muscle, lift the other leg, five seconds, let it down. Once that gets a little easy, then you want to be able to tighten the muscle, lift one leg, lift the other leg without your spine moving here, hold that for five seconds, drop one leg, drop the other, relax the abdominals. So you're, the key here is to try to keep your spine nice and straight while bracing or causing a corseting effect to your abdominals and to your spine to give you stability. Then you carry that into activities where you are standing and squatting, working on lunges, working on your glute muscles, and all of your other activities. Even when you're doing things around the house like lifting or moving a chair, you should tighten here first, then move and do that activity. And that'll help to give you some extra support here when you're doing uh, all those daily activities. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a thumbs up if you uh, liked it and uh, be sure to subscribe.